So just a couple days ago, the Arizona Cardinals unveiled these all black helmets right here, and it got me thinking once again, when are we gonna get new jerseys? Like ever since 2005, literally the year after Larry Fitzgerald got drafted, we have been rocking these right here. Like whether you love these or you hate these, we all got to admit, it's time to change them up. And what's funny is if you go on Twitter, you go on Instagram, and you go to the Arizona Cardinals official page, if you click on any post and you read the comments, people are begging for new jerseys. Now, obviously, the people who are running the Cardinals Twitter and Instagram have no say whatsoever on whether we get new jerseys or not. But it just goes to show that it's pretty universal that this fan base wants new jerseys, and we want them now. I want it now. And I'm sure the words reach the front office and they're hyper aware of this, or at least I hope they are because honestly, I don't know how many more seasons I can look at these. So I'm praying that next season is finally the year we switch things up and it would be the perfect thing. We let two of our cornerstone players, Larry Fitzgerald and Patrick Peterson walk and it is time to start that new era. We have a ton of young talent on our roster right now. Like on offense, we have Kyler Murray who we just extended for the next five seasons and he's a top 10 quarterback. Then we also have Hollywood Brown, who we just traded for. He's still super young. And then we look on the defensive side of the ball and things get kind of scary. In the secondary alone, we have three studs, Byron Murphy, Jalen Thompson, and Buda Baker. That's a nasty trio right there. And then you look at our linebackers and we have Isaiah Simmons and Zayvon Collins. And some of y'all are probably surprised I mentioned Zayvon Collins because you guys have probably seen some of my past videos and I wasn't talking too highly about him. Well, I still feel that way, but I mean, he is still super young and he was our first round pick. So, I mean, we got to see what he can do in year two. But regardless, we still have a super bright future here. And the best way to kick off this new era is to give us a new look as well. And the best way to do that is in some new jerseys. So in today's video, I'm going to go over some of the best redesigns that I found all across the internet, Twitter, Instagram, I've looked through it all. And unfortunately for me, if you guys are Twitter users, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Jersey redesigns aren't the only thing I found, unfortunately. I'm not discussing that any further, but if you know, you know. And also, I've literally made this exact video probably a year ago just going over different jersey redesigns, so after this one, you guys should definitely check it out. The commentary might be a little cringy compared to what it is now, but it's still a solid video. So if you guys want to see more Cardinals redesigns, make sure you go watch it. And one more thing before we get into the first redesign, I want you guys at the end of the video to let me know which one is your favorite, and I want you guys to let me know why. Because there's a lot of detail that goes into each and every one, and I'm going to point those out, and it's going to be interesting to see what you guys have to say. But enough of the talking, let's go ahead and take a look at the first redesign. So for the first jersey redesign, we have this one coming in by the Kyle CYR on Instagram. And the moment my eyes locked onto these jerseys, I fell in love. If you know me, you know I love any jersey that has the Arizona flag on it. And not only does it have the flag on the sleeve, but something about those stripes just pop. I don't know what it is, but it just goes extremely well with the entire jersey. And then we take a look at the helmet and you got the old Cardinals logo on it. And while I highly doubt they switch back to the old Cardinals logo, just imagine the new one slapped onto this. Like make this jersey and just slap the new logo on. I don't care. In my opinion, this is a perfect jersey. And he also made some color rush alternates as well. And if you watch the first one, you know I love this sandy gray color. If the Cardinals don't end up making a jersey of this color, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Not only does it give that sandy-like vibe, but it goes perfect with red and yellow. Like, just look at the way it pops on the screen right now. Imagine what it would look like on the field. If they drop a jersey like this, you better believe I'm copping it. I'll take 20! But the only unfortunate thing for this redesign is I couldn't find the away version, but just imagine these in white. I think it would be absolute fire, and overall, I love this concept. Let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section below. And on to concept number two, we have this one right here, and I'm not sure who made these, but shout out to you because these are pretty freaking sick. Like we mentioned with the other one, anything that has to do with the flag, I am a fan of. It might not be the actual flag stitched onto the side of the jersey, but instead, they did something pretty creative and they took the Arizona flag design and put it on the side. I've seen a couple concepts like this before, but this one pulls it off perfectly. There's not too much going on, and you know what they say, sometimes less is more, and in this case and scenario, that fits perfectly. There's nothing crazy going on, nothing flashy, and it's just an overall beautiful jersey. But what I will say, the one knock that I have on it is I'm not a fan of the red helmets. 
If he just made an all white helmet, white helmet, white face mask, I would probably love this concept a lot more. And what sucks is I don't know where I saw it posted at, but the Cardinals helmet all white just looks so much better than the white and gray face mask. Like I can't even describe it. You just have to see it for yourself. If you guys saw the post, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it just looks so much better. If you added an all white helmet to this concept right here, we're in business. Overall, I'm a fan of it. The only thing I changed is that red helmet like we said, but let me know how you guys are feeling about it down in the comment section below. And for the third and final jersey concept, we have this one right here. And again, I have no idea where this came from, but shout out to you. There's a lot to deep dive with this whole concept, so let's just start on the way left. The way left is like a throwback jersey. This? This is a work of art. They have the Arizona flag, the retro helmets, like everything about this. Literally, it's just a modern version of the throwback. Everything about it is perfect. We've seen teams like the Titans announce that they're going to bring back some of their throwback jerseys, so it would be kind of sick to see the Cardinals follow that pattern and do the same thing. And then we move on to the other three jerseys, and this is the detail that I love the most about all of them. Look at the back of the jersey. You guys peep those Cardinal wings? It's like the top of our logo just implemented on the back of the jersey, and I don't know why I think it's so cool, but if the Cardinals were to pull off something like that, I would be pretty fond of it. Like, looking at it right now, it's just visually appealing. It really brings out the bird cardinal look, and it just represents everything perfectly. Like, it's a simple design, and it's super easy, and it looks amazing. And another thing I like is how instead of the all red red sleeves, it's just a stripe, and then it transitions into that logo on the back, and it gives it that newer look, and it's on those for all of them except the red one. The red one is just all red. I mean, there's not much you can do with that. And if I had to suggest something else changing, I would probably say on the red jersey, make the cardinal like wings white. I don't know if that'd look weird or not, but that would probably be the one thing I'd like to see change potentially. But outside of that, I have no complaints. And then we move over to the way right in the final jersey, the all black color rush. And it's basically what we already have now, just with the wings on the back. And truth be told, I have no problem with this. I think the color rush are the best jerseys we have. It's just unfortunate we can never win a game in them. But the design is nice. I mean, we have that going for us. And I don't know when this concept was made, but the Cardinals a couple days ago released all black helmets, so this concept right here could be a full go. Overall, this is a really solid concept, and I'm a big fan of those throwbacks, and I'm hoping we bring them back. And with that being said, that's the end of the video. You guys have seen all three concepts. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite and why. And if your favorites were a mix of all three, let me know what your favorite home was, your favorite away, and your favorite color rush. It's going to be really interesting to see what you guys have to say about this. But like I said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL content and I also post NBA content on my second channel if you guys want to check that out. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. And also, if you guys are looking to go to a ticketed event and you guys are looking to save some money, use code MYTHICAZ at SeatGeek for $20 off your first purchase. With the NFL season right around the corner, I'm assuming some of y'all are going to be going out to some games. And if you're looking to save some money, which I mean, all of us are, Make sure to go download SeatGeek and use code MYTHICAZ at checkout for $20 off your first purchase. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.